This video describes how to install the Arduino library for the little robot friends. By now you've visited our website and downloaded the zip file that contains all of the Arduino code necessary for performing this task. Unzip that file and take a look inside. You'll see a hardware folder, a libraries folder, and a readme file. Inside hardware, there's a little file called boards.txt. That describes how Arduino should talk to the robot. And then inside libraries, you'll see a whole bunch of different files. That's our source code. Plus an examples folder with a couple pieces of code. So, what do we do first? Well, we need to figure out where your sketchbook folder is located. Open up Arduino, and under preferences, you'll see something that says sketchbook location. Take a look at that path. We need to find that path inside your folders. So here we go. I've opened up that folder. And you can see I already have a folder called libraries inside there. Let me check, take a look at uh, what's in there. Here I've just uh, organized my other files. So you can see that my libraries folder is empty. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy everything into that Arduino sketchbook folder. It's asking me, do I want to replace files? Yes, that's fine, because they're empty. Now I've copied everything over. Now let's say you already have something in your libraries folder, like uh, another library. Then all you want to do is just manually copy over just what you need from the contents of the uh, folders that we've supplied. Finally, you'll see a readme.txt file that just contains uh, these instructions. It's not absolutely critical to copy that one over. So now, let's get going in Arduino. If it's already open, you have to quit it so that we can open it again. That'll cause the reload of uh, those new libraries that we've uh, added. And under the file menu, you'll see examples. Under examples, you'll see little robot friends. Click on the My Little Robot Friend example, and you'll see the basic code that'll be required to get your little robot friend doing its thing. Under the Tools menu, and under Boards, select Little Robot Friend, because that's the type of board that this is. And then you can click the Verify button. That'll compile the code, and it'll say Done Compiling when it's done. Now let's say we want to upload to our little robot friend. Well, that's not a problem. Just plug your little robot friend to dock or other compatible cable in. Get your little robot friend uh, seated on that properly. And then under the tools menu, we're going to want to select our dock. Under serial ports. TTY that USB modem, that looks good. And then click the upload button. Now this will take a little bit longer than the verify step because not only does it need to compile the code, but it also needs to send it over to the robot. If you're using a dock, you should see some blinking lights. Eh, it typically takes about uh, 15 to 20 seconds. There you go. Now it's done. It says done uploading. Now you can click on the serial monitor and just to verify that everything is good, the little robot friend will print out what type of hardware and what type of firmware it's running. And that's it! Now you can begin programming on your little robot friend. Now in Windows land, it's more or less the same. Take that little zip file, double click it, open it up, and you'll see the folders are the same. Hardware and libraries. And this time, the sketchbook is most typically found in My Documents folder. So go to your My Documents folder. There should be a folder called Arduino. And like before, you just copy or uh, drag the folders that you need. In this case, I'm taking my little robot friend from inside my Libraries folder and moving it into the Libraries folder in my Arduino sketch folder. And everything's the same. You can go and navigate through the files just to verify. So let's open up Arduino 
and you'll see that in our examples folder our little robot friends examples are there let's click on my little robot friend and under tools you'll see that uh, the my little robot friends board is there so that's all selected so let's just click verify to compile the sketch make sure everything works and it does done compiling now you can plug in your dock and put new firmware on your little robot friend that's it thanks for watching